Hi, welcome back to the bridge for Chelsea Racing. We've seen a lot of good things, including Chelsea getting back to winning ways against Hull. 30 seconds on the KCOM win. Yeah, absolutely needed because I think we had a brilliant start to the season. Then there was a little bit of a wobble, a little bit of difficulty. So we had to get back on, not only scoring goals, but playing well and getting the win again. If you look at the way the league table looks now, it's quite good. It's certainly a lot better than it was at this time last season. Lots of good things to pick out of it. But more than anything else, I was delighted to see we finally played three at the back and it worked. We need adaptability and that adaptability that we've got has worked. Let's have a look at this. We've got a standing report here. Lee Parker's got a lot better looking, Pat. He certainly has. It's, uh, it's, do you know what? We saw a lot of this last year, didn't we? Uh, Eden Hazard being at his best, being happy, being chirpy, being the guy in the dressing room that gets everyone going. And you see he's at it again. He's loving it. He's grabbed that awfully, hasn't he? Yeah, and then uh, Costa comes in, <laughs> who never speaks, basically, because he doesn't have much English, or if he doesn't hide it pretty well. I like this link. Me? Yeah. Beautiful. 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 English, please. Ah, beautiful. Beautiful. Look <laughs> 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 Yeah, look at that. Look at that. You ever seen anybody laughing that much? It must have been brilliant. I think he said beautiful and golasso. And a footballer's handshake there, William and Lee Park are very important. You've got to nail that if you're in the club. Let's look forward, Pat, to post-international break. Presumably they'll come back OK. Or even if they don't, the games are going to happen anyway. Uh, Leicester up first. Claudio came back and got a guard of honour, didn't he, in the last game of last season as champions. It's it already different seems looking a kind of long game time ago, doesn't, doesn't it? it? Leicester are very, very changed now. I mean, they, those are great moments. These are fantastic scenes for them, never to be forgotten. But the team's different now. You take Kante out of that team, bring in six centre forwards, mm. and they've got confusion now. We need to make sure that we take all advantage of that. Chelsea versus Manchester United gives an excuse to have a look at this. And Michael Owen about to come off the bench, but behind Solomon Kalou, man with toothbrush. Why? A little word for Gabrielle Obertan. Why has he got a toothbrush, Pat? I'm trying really hard to figure it out. What's you know, you just about? want to look your best. You want to make sure your smell's seen on television. But to be honest, I think he's meeting his girlfriend afterwards. I it's, think that might be it. It's absolutely bizarre. Greetings from the Shed Upper Boroff Internationals and welcome back, Club Footy. We're here watching first team training. I'm afraid you can't see it because it's very secretive ahead of the return to action against Leicester. Nothing's wrong with Jason, he's just getting very into it. What are you seeing? Um, I'm seeing Matic at right back, Diego Costa centre half, David Luiz up top, and Golo Kante in goal, and Courtois up front, and Conte is in the middle of the park. German fans, brilliant. Have a look at this. Oh, there they are, they're enjoying themselves. Slow hand clap and get a movement there. What do you think they look like, Ben? Uh, Elton John and Kiki D in Anorax. It's a wonderful manoeuvre. Fancy a little bit this, Ben? No? no. Fancy? No. Did you know it's ten years since this happened? Jason. Petr Cech <clears throat> and then Carlo Cudicini head injuries in the same game at Reading. Yeah, I was at this game actually, I was in the Reading end. Um, and I remember John Terry coming on, it was a very, very tight game. Um, obviously with the Stephen Hunt situation on Czech, left a bit of a bad taste in He has in always, by the way, fancied himself as a goalkeeper. I don't know anyone, looks the part. anyone who's ever seen him, seen him at Cobble you know when they have a little muck about. He did have a couple of touches of it, didn't he? I, I do remember him having a couple of touches of the ball. but. I mean, that's more or less unprecedented, right? We have two goalkeepers come off in the same game with head injuries. God, ten years ago. Great handling, decent distribution from the back, you'd expect that. <laughs> well, Jason, we've seen a win over Leicester. Well, they made it look easy, really, against the champions with another clean sheet. Yes, they did. The, the, the formation actually really outfoxed the Foxes. Um, three at the back, and you look at the wide men in Moses and Alonso. All Brighton and Schlupp didn't know whether to go or stay, and in the end, they did neither. And by stretching that midfield, it gave us so much space to operate. And tactically, it was a brilliant performance. Second half, Claudio changed it. He had to, or getting beat. Um, but overall, 90 minutes, I think that's probably the best performance I've seen by a Chelsea side in 2016. They really looked like they enjoyed it. We're going to have a little look at a sequence here. Mm. Uh, lots of skills. They, I mean, they were that much on top. You know, there were flicks and tricks, and, they, and there was a swagger about Chelsea. There was a swagger, and also, it's not just having the confidence to do it, it's also being on the same telepathy as, the, as, your, as your teammate, as you say. But those little flicks there, nine times out of ten, Ben, they wouldn't come off. You know, they'd end up going to the opposition, or they end up wouldn't have enough pace on it. This, right, was my, well. this is one of my favourites, that we're going to see my absolute favourite in a minute, but Pedro passed off his bags on. 
and then he uh, yeah. off his backside. Here we go. And, and has our controls it with his head. His ear. With his ear, but best still last. He's so, still got yeah. it, the gaffer. Is that better than Jody Morris? And he used to the other day. He had trainers on. Is that a factor? I think that needs to be considered. But I, I don't know, there was something about Jody's that I'm just gonna just give it half a mark more. Great skills from the Chelsea boys in general, apart from David Luiz, Jason, this was magnificent um, in a different way. We, Yeah. It's a proper face plant, as you'll see here, where we pause it. Yeah, I think anyone that's ever played football... Oh! <laughs> wow, I didn't see that. OK, next, Cobham on Chelsea TV. Players had a couple of days off, but here is what happened when a certain Mr Justin Rose went and met Mr John Terry. Did you know John Terry played golf left-handed? How about that? Have a look at this. No, I didn't know I this. I suppose you wouldn't. Why would what? you? <clears throat> that would be... But you can do, you know. Your right arm is still dominant because it's the front one. Phil Mickelson is a yeah, left-handed golfer, but he's right-handed at everything else he does. It's actually the best way to set up, uh, I'll have you know, from a coaching perspective. Okay. Um, but really he, he, did well to, he did well to knock the first can of Carabao off, though. Pretty good. Now, Game of Loans. And there's only one place to start. Where do we always start? Oh, Tammy Abraham again. I mean, how many hit this week? Didn't score. So no whammy! No whammy. <laughs> Didn't score for once. Uh, Lucas Pierzon did for Fulham, though, so well done him. Lewis Baker scored another corking free kick on loan at Vitesse. Four in four for him. And Bertrand Trori got another goal for Ajax. So the boy's doing well in foreign fields. And a bit closer to home, Jamal Blackman made this save. Wickham played Mansfield, it was a 1-1 draw. This save was right at the end of the game, so it kept the scores level and Jamal got man of the match. No whammy, Ben. No, no whammy, but good save that's from not, Jamal. That's a decent Jammy. save. Jammy. Good save, but it's no whammy. No whammy at all. I know you enjoyed Sunday. It didn't start well for Jose Mourinho, did it? And uh, we don't mean Pedro, we'll come to that. Even before, Pat, we had this. Yeah, um, oddly enough, He's trying to look at his watch, <laughs> pouring it all over himself. Oddly enough, the watch gets into view, but let's be honest, we're all looking at the water pouring down that. Not a good start. There's a bad, bad moment for him. And yes, we did notice it. And within 29 seconds, it was 1-0. October 1999 to October 2016. Spooky similarities as we approach Halloween. Let's well, have a little split We're talking about Josie looking at his watch. Well, I should have looked at this watch for 29 seconds. It's absolutely extraordinary similarity between it. The, the team's wearing just a, obviously the same strip, same team, right going towards the same sort of angle for the camera, etc. Like, they think, think they're calm and they're involved in the game. But look, the ball eventually does get played up front. And it's all about someone nicking in in front. Chelsea being a little bit livelier. But right at the start, here we go, ball up front here. Little neck on. Gus point in one. And, it's, yeah. and Pedro now, sec like, seconds later, second and a half later. Extraordinary similar. It's just, one ends up in 4 now, one ends up in a 5 now. Um, and it just set the tone for us this week, didn't it? It set the tone that everybody was on for it, everybody was up for it. We zipped in close, man for man, every single battle, Chelsea won it, and it started from there. It was a day for celebrations all round. We're going to show you a few of them. For a start, the contrast between the two bosses here. This is uh, Gary Cahill's goal for 2-0. Antonio Conte on the left and uh, Jose on the right. It's really, how hard must it be for Jose Mourinho? Just because had they scored, he probably wouldn't have been able to. That was a, that's hell to take, isn't that's it? That's Conte, that number four there. Yeah. yeah. And he's got it. Staying on the subject of celebrations. Here comes the corner. Well, it could go anywhere. It must be two. It is. It's fallen for Gary Cahill and four yards out. He could have missed. He's half volleyed it into the back of the net. And Chelsea lead Manchester United by two goals to nil with 21 minutes played. That is it from us this week. We will leave you with the best of what happened on Friday night when Matic and Begovic were in the studio for Friday Night Live. See you soon. So as they face off against each other, all there's left to say is let's get started. It's a phenomenal tour of shirt, actually. NFL or NBA? Oh. 
Oh, I know. <laughs> there you go. How do you feel? <laughs> Congratulations, brother. Well Thank you.